Hello again, everybody. I'm Roger Hoover. Glad to welcome you back to the Crimson Tide Sports Network. It's time for Coach's Checklist, presented to you by VPro, offering customized printing and individualized service for event marketing, retail, and out of home. VPro, a Vincent printing experience, can accommodate any job, from storefronts to stadiums all across the U.S. Check out vproexperience.com to start your visual project process today. On Monday over Zoom, it was head coach Nick Saban addressing the media as Alabama gets ready for LSU. I'm feeling fine, so you don't need to worry about me. Um, and just to make it clear, uh, I'll be evaluated by the medical staff later in the week and they'll make a determination as to when I come back. Uh, but I don't anticipate any problems um, in being able to coach the game this week. On LSU, who is a you know, very, very talented team. Um, you know, these guys have looked exceptionally uh, good at times this year. They're very capable. They have lots of good players on both sides of the ball. Um, very explosive on offense. Um, got really good receivers, a couple good running backs. I know they've done some rebuilding, you know, with their team this year because of how many players they lost from last year's national championship team. But you know, these guys uh, really played well last week at Texas A&M. Jalil is kind of coming into his own a little bit as a tight end. Um, he's a very good receiver. I think, you know, having some success in the last couple games has probably helped his confidence a little bit. Um, and he's, you know, definitely somebody uh, who we feel can make plays for us on offense. And we need to try to utilize him every way that we can. Thanks for watching Coach's Checklist, presented to you by VPro. We'll be back on Thursday as game week preparations continue for Alabama, getting ready for Saturday's matchup in Baton Rouge against LSU.